What is the status of today's real estate market? Hi, my name is Nathan King, real estate broker here in Fresno, California, the leader of the Nathan King Real Estate Group, brokered by eXp Realty. I get asked all the time, what's going on in the real estate market? It's everybody's favorite topic. And right now, interest rates are 8%, 8.5% for some people that you know don't have a higher credit score. A lot goes into that, right? What's your credit score? Well, what bank you know, are you getting financing through? How much of a down payment? What's your credit score? You know, where does the stock market at, the bond market? There's so much that goes into it. Um, but yeah, generally we're looking like eight, eight and a half percent interest rate, which is crazy. Nobody thought we'd we'd get to this place so fast. And so moving forward, people want to know, well, what should we predict? Well, inflation is still an issue. And as long as inflation is an issue, interest rates will stay where they're at, if not go up. So my prediction, I think interest rates are going to go up one or two more times, you know, going into the summer of 2024. I also believe that when interest rates got over seven, seven and a half percent, I felt like that was the tipping point. Whereas if interest rates go any higher, then there's going to have to be, then it becomes unaffordable for the buyers. And so then there's going to be a downward pull on home values. Now it's not going to happen overnight, right? Because the pool of buyers doesn't just immediately shrink to 10% of what it used to be. But I think that's where it's definitely headed. And I'm not here to spread like any fear. If you're looking to buy, I'm not saying don't buy because it's very specific to you and your situation. You know, I, I don't predict the housing market to crash. I don't think there's going to be a huge correction, but there does have to be a correlation between interest rates and home values, right? Interest rates. So let's say they're, they're even right here at seven and a half percent. If interest rates start going up from that tipping point, then the home values have to start coming down in equal proportion. Now, the reason why we haven't already seen this is because we had an all time low of inventory since 2008. You know, the, so many builders went bankrupt and the builders who survived, they weren't building in proportion to the population increase all since in the last 15 years, since 2008, the millennials have graduated college, gotten good jobs, started families. And now they're buying homes. Well, those tens of millions of millennials are trying to buy houses and the builders haven't been building in equal proportion. So now we have a, a shortage nationwide. And so that has kept the home values strong, but now it's becoming a little bit out of reach for most buyers to uh, make those current payments at the eight, eight and a half percent interest rates. So my prediction is that houses are now going to sit on the market a little bit longer. And there's that's going to be because there's less buyers and the buyers that are on the market are kind of slow and hesitant. And so, but you know, sellers still need to sell. So there'll be more listings next month and the next month and the next month. So right now in Fresno County, we have 2.2 months of inventory based on closed sales. I think in the next six to nine months, our inventory will grow to around, you know, four to six months, you know? Uh, and so when that happens, of course, buyers have a lot more options to choose from. Sellers are going to have more um, competition. And so I think that there might be a slight um, decrease in home values. Now, if you're a seller, that doesn't mean go and sell your house right away because it's very specific to you and your life and, and, and what you have planned. So what I'm predicting may or may not happen. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what the future holds. And we know that the market is extremely manipulated by the federal government. And so if they do one little thing, it could change my entire prediction. So I have to put that little disclaimer out there. And if you're buying, it's like, um, it would be the same advice as, as if you were buying stocks in the stock market. Don't try to time the market. We don't know when the bottom is and we don't know what the, the top is. So it's more about um, us meeting and getting to know you and your situation to make to see if it makes sense for you to buy right now. Or if, maybe if it makes more sense for you to rent and buy at some point in the future while you get your income um, up. So if you're looking to make a move in the near future, let's connect so we can talk more about your specific situation to see if it makes sense. Hope you have a great day. Take care and God bless.